Morning everybody, Chad, Adler Farms. First we gotta get something out of the way. The elephant in the room. The crack in my windshield. It's like way out of line of sight. Take it easy on me. It's been there since December of 20. It adds character. I'm not touching it. It's a truck. And <laughs> It's not in my line of sight, by the way. Like, it's about six inches up. I mean, I know some of you guys are, you know, not near as tall as me, not anywhere close, but it's way, way down low. It's not in my line of sight. I can't even see it. It's not even higher than my hood when I'm sitting in the truck. My head almost hits the ceiling, okay? And the important thing is, it's my truck. I don't see her. <laughs> I don't see her yet. I'm also freezing, which is nuts. At the time you guys are seeing this, it's Thursday. Let's lock myself up. Nope. Thursday, May 26th, and it's 53 degrees. It is down. I mean, this is cold. It feels cold. I'm cold. My birthday. Sunday that's also my little brother's birthday my little big brother Kyle it's his birthday we're just two years apart he's older <laughs> not really I'm older but he looks older that's what everybody says but 54 degrees at the end of May it was 90 94 degrees a couple weeks ago and here we are but I'm sure you guys have already seen Ray's video if you haven't this is going to be a surprise to you but yesterday, Carter and I went on a mission to find something for the farm, and we found it. And we got back into town, and we came out here, and I noticed we had five alpacas, and we should only have four. But check this out. There's Alan, Mama, Tina, Lady A. What is that? It's a baby. There's a baby alpaca. She wasn't due until August. But as you guys know, in the animal world, <laughs> that never really matters. I think it says they're pregnant like 11 to 13 months or something like that. Clearly the dad got the job done a little sooner than the people we got mama from. We got her on Mother's Day, actually the day before Mother's Day. That's crazy. Here she comes too. Ray's got Ray's got mama like super chill and relaxed. I mean she'll walk right up to you. I've been opening this gate and they all come flooding through. Let's see what happens here. Now that baby is shivering, shaking. I'm not sure if it's a fear thing or what, but she's not cold. The minimum temperature is supposed to be 40 degrees that they can handle. And it's 54, so I know we're close, but it's it's not too cold for them. They're okay. So let's try this. I'm gonna see if I can actually get them. Holy cow, they came out. Hang on. Now it's also supposed to stop raining, finally, like this morning. That was supposed to be it. When I got here this morning, that's supposed to be the last of the rain. Come on. <laughs> They don't speak cow. I know you guys want to see the baby. Hang on. Look at the baby pee. Potty break.
you know. Come on. Oh boy. Look at him. The highlands make him nervous. <laughs> That's crazy. Somebody asked why there's so much dust in that grain. I don't know. I don't know, Fred. Today I walked outside this lane and they followed me a little better. Uh, these knuckleheads make them nervous. I don't know where the donkeys are at. I'm sure we'll hear from them soon. Come on. Come on. They're gonna stop and eat that fresh grass though too, naturally. These guys are absolutely ridiculous. 20 acres of grass fighting over grain I dumped on the ground. Fred, you need to wipe your rear end, man. Got something followed from the last coat brown. You're the prettiest camel ever. You're the prettiest camel ever. So if everybody's wondering why they didn't get sheared, it was pouring down rain and the shearer had to cancel. So we're now lined up for Wednesday the 1st. And that's in their nails, their teeth, all that stuff. And if you've seen Gary and Cassie's video, how Gary helped, I will not have to do that. This is a, a crew, I believe a two or three man crew that shows up and takes care of it. So they'll handle all that. Because everybody was kind of concerned about my arm and doing what Gary did. I don't even have to mess with it. All I'm going to do is film. All I'm going to do is film the haircut. It would be awesome if they'd all come down here. Alan, you feeling froggy? I don't think I'd test that. Come on. You guys are ridiculous. You know it? The fence is not hot. The cows know it. I guarantee that. Look at all that water. Now I know some of you guys are like, oh my gosh, there's so much water, it's flooded. Da, da, da. Listen, we got a ton of rain. And here's the deal. That's like the only spot that the water has to go, which is kind of nice. Like if there was water everywhere, which there's not, and it drains quick. I see the burger bros, I better go give them some cubes. It drains quick, so that's a good thing. And remember three weeks ago when it rained a ton, the river actually flooded. We had to take a 15 minute detour to get to the farm from the house and the pond never overflowed. Nothing out here was wetter than you see it now. So this property handles the water really well. The reason you see a lot of it, like in the driveway and whatnot, is it's fast. It drains really quick, but it looks like there's more water than there is. But the property handles it really well. We're very pleased. Here, you little spoiled whippersnappers. There you go. Now she'll come in and assert. Yeah. Mama, why don't you come out here with me? Now, you've had plenty, and you you should be eating grass. That's what you do. Look, see what you started? Here. You guys, you're silly. Get back. Get back. You know better. I know everybody's losing their minds because they haven't shown the baby yet. 
I can hear the burger bros. Well, let's walk over here. How's everybody doing, by the way? Watch Fred, he'll follow me all the way, he knows. He knows something's up. All Eeyore. The girls will be right behind too. Hip hip. Come on, cow. Woo! What's up, boys? Look down. There, your brother found it. Your brother found it. Woo. Goodness. Right, let's safely sneak out of here. Woo. There's a lot of meat over there. Are they following me yet? Not yet. All right. I am kind of curious where the donkeys are. Speak of the trio. Big donk. Little donk. Badonka donk. Bringing up the rear. <laughs> See what I did there? Badonka donk's bringing up the rear. I'm funny. Hey, listen, the grain train's over. Don't come up here looking for grain. All right, let's see if we can get you guys a closer look at this baby. Now, we don't know when the baby hit the ground. I'm guessing yesterday morning sometime. So she should be about 24 hours old. The important thing to do, which we did when I found her, from what I've read, and I know some of y'all raise alpacas, I know some of y'all's friends, dogs, walkers, sisters, cousin raises alpacas, and you know more than me. But I Googled it, so I know everything. It says to separate them so mom and baby can bond and establish that they are who they are which I did. I isolated them right here in this little pen for about an hour. And she was already nursing by the time we got here, she or he. I haven't figured out boy or girl yet. Basically, if there's two holes, you have a girl. If there's one hole and a willy, you have a boy. But there's looks like there's a dozen holes. I don't know what's going on back there. So I either got a girl or a boy or a funny looking girl or a funny looking boy. I don't know yet, we'll figure it out. Either way, it's a cute little baby alpaca whether he's a pointer or a setter. But then we did, what's up boys? We did put them back in here with the herd because there is safety in the herd. And that's what we were told to do. She can't regulate her body temperature quite yet. I know she looks like she's freezing. Everybody's probably losing their mind, but calm down. If you can't handle it, I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna lose sleep tonight. I'm not. I don't think this baby is either. Mama is super cool about sharing as long as you stay real calm. Speak real quiet. She's even very curious about the camera. She or he. You doing okay? I'd love to pick you up and hold you, but I bet that ain't happening, huh? You look like your Aunt Tina, like big time. I mean, there's no way that's possible. Y'all came from two completely different states, two completely different times, but hey, you never know in the animal kingdom. You never know. Mama taking good care don't listen to Fred he's kind of a grumpus he is I'd love to put you in the barn do you think that could happen go to the barn if I go get a bunch of wood shavings would you do that let me hold you in a towel and dry you off 
Think I'd be all right? I bet if I pick you up, mom would follow me anywhere. Huh? Ignore your aunt too. She's royalty and she acts like it. Just in her little animal kingdom. She thinks she's something. She'll protect you, but don't worry about her. She bossy. And your mama don't like her. <laughs> Look, ladies. There's a whole bowl of, tr of food over there. Get her, mama. Get her, mama. Oh no. Oh, I got overspray. I got overspray. Uh, yeah. Look at that guilty grin. So to make, I just spooked everybody. I don't think they thought I was kneeling down there. To make sure, I messaged my buddy John, where we got Alan from, and John owns, I think it's Red River Exotic Ranch in Comanche, Oklahoma. And he's raised, I would venture to say hundreds of alpacas. He's also got many donkeys. You should totally check him out. Alan has just been amazing. But Alan has been awesome, super sweet. Yeah, oh hey, I can't show you guys that, but I found the placenta. So anyway, that needed to pass and it did. It's on the ground right there. That's a whole lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna link Jonathan's Facebook down below. He's always got some animals for sale. They always take real good care of them. Um, we've met him. We met him at the auction when we got Alan. Uh, just a wealth of information, but I just messaged him and I said, Hey man, had a baby hit the ground yesterday. He said, what's the temperature where you guys are at? Cause he knows we're North of him. I said, it's currently 55, but what do I do with the baby? And he said, get a towel and dry her off. Once the rain stops, basically, I'm not gonna do it right now. Cause it's sprinkling, get a towel and dry her off. See, she's nursing too. up and nursing is good. I told John that he said, sounds good. But he said, get a towel and dry her off. He said, you can pin her up tonight and put a heat lamp in there with her just to help but he said she'll be fine you know this is what the man does for a living i can't i'm not gonna do something different because somebody says something in the comments okay he's the man that's what we're going with so i think what i'm gonna do is run to town and get some wood shavings wood chips some straw anything i can find anything anybody has in stock i might just have to load up on wood chips and a beach towel or something and come back and get them ready. I'm not gonna put them in there today because they need to get out and stretch their legs. It's also supposed to be 63. The rain is supposed to stop. So when that happens, that's cool. She's on the other side of Tina and Tina doesn't care. So what I'm gonna do, now Alan, don't make me separate you, bro. What I'm gonna do is run to town, get some shavings and a towel and get a place set up for them to go tonight because it is supposed to get down to 46 degrees. Look at that, hanging out with her aunt. Tina's like, get away from me, kid, I'm guarding. Yeah, so we're gonna leave her out for the day. I may go get a, I may go get a couple of towels. And when the rain stops, dry her off, like I said. But then tonight, put her up and dry her off again. Put her up with mom in the pen over there. And one of you guys mentioned, which I already knew, but alpacas actually like the rain. So when I put them in the barn, I actually did put a panel across the front so they can't walk out into the rain. Like I'll actually pin them up. But tomorrow morning, it's supposed to be 40 eight degrees I should say tonight it's supposed to be 48 high of 50 in the morning and then 70 degrees and then 80 degrees and hopefully progressively warmer especially Sunday for my birthday 
So, yeah, I'm gonna go take care of some busy work and get the little one a place to get dry. Hi, buddy. It's warming up to me. This little donk. Hi, buddy. Get the baby a place to get dry. <laughs> it's not happening. And check back with the guys here in a little bit. I got nothing. I got nothing. I'm like the grain man. Hang on. All right. See you guys in a little bit. What's going on? Oh, man. I do not want to do this. So it's been a couple hours. Let me show you what I got. We're back at the farm, by the way. Hang on. Can't open that. Can't use my arm. I got some compressed straw, a dewormer for the highlands. I'm sure the donkeys will use it too. And I'm gonna hang this in the barn. It's a fly trap. I got fly spray. This is what I used last year for the beefy boys. Works great. Feed them cubes, spray them. They don't like it, but they don't have flies, mosquitoes, or ticks. No scoop. I'm gonna roll some feed down to the barn. That way I don't have to walk every time. And then a feeder for mama. Because I think tonight it's supposed to be 44 degrees. And we're going to do our best to see if we can get mama in that barn later tonight. So you guys won't see it until the next video. Sorry, that's how it goes because it is the day I'm filming this. Thursday the 26th. What's my heart rate before somebody gets on me? Yeah, it's in the 90s. I had an organic monster. Judge me. I was texting my buddy John like we just talked about on Facebook. Go check him out, okay? Tell him howdy. Tell him thanks for all the information. If you need some exotics, look him up. Go see him, okay? We may be in the market for some Jennies, and we know who we're going to go see when we're ready. She, the sun came out. And that little stinker dried up a little bit, and she's not shaking. That's awesome. What do you say, pretty lady? How you doing? John did tell me, I was trying to find out if it's a boy or a girl, and John said, you're gonna have to lift that tail higher. I sent him a picture, and he goes, you're gonna have to lift the tail higher. I was like, I don't know, man. Mama's pretty trusting, but I've already lost a bicep, so I don't know. We'll see if I can get her done here in a second or not. But that's what I wanna know. I wanna find out the gender for you guys. Let me get some stuff ready. Here, let me open this, see if they'll come out here and eat. Come eat, alpacas. Woo Hi. Can I touch the baby? I know it's windy, guys, get over it. I'm not saying anything important. Just stare at the baby alpaca and enjoy it. He wants me to lift the tail. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. See, they've got flies too. I need to spray them as well. Now, I need to bring Bandit out here to eat that placenta, which in case you didn't know is the norm. Now, I didn't know that until Lola had piglets and we had Smokey. And I was texting Kevin and Rachel that morning when Lola had piglets a year ago. Not now, we still don't know if Lola's pregnant. You have to go watch my dad's channel if you wanna know about that, but anyway. I was texting Kevin and Rachel when Lola had piglets and they were like, hey, let Smokey out there. She'll take care of that afterbirth. I was like, what? What? And they were like, yeah, because predators will smell that and come in and then they find the baby piglets. Well, I'm not super worried about predators finding these alpacas just because the donkeys are here and all that. However, there's a placenta laying in the pasture and it's gross and it's weird and it catches my eye. I can't not look at it and it's gross. I don't like it. Woo. It's actually not that bad, but Bandit will instinctively know what to do. So we need to bring him out here. He is also going to move to the farm because it's time. He's ready. He's bored. So I think this is a perfect opportunity. If you saw in Ray's video, Bandit's already met the baby alpaca and did great. He and Mama sat there and ate grain out of the tray together. So let's see what we got here. Oh, less than two pounds. Oh, less than two pounds. 
So this is your first video ever. The smallest alpaca we own tore my bicep and I had surgery about six weeks ago. I can't lift anything over two pounds. I'm not just being a sissy. This is hilarious. These just grew <laughs> right here. But I think I'll leave that. They might scratch on it. It certainly won't bother them. I don't want to take this down. Is that screwed on? Yeah, it is. Darn it. That's all right. It's like having two stalls, but I think I'm going to put the hay and stuff in here anyway. The straw, excuse me. I'm going to put the straw and stuff in here, hang that feeder on this thing, and get it all set up. It's going to take me a few minutes, but you guys sit tight because it's only going to take about half a second. Well, this is pretty cute. You can definitely tell who's in charge now. Cause these donkeys will not push these cows off that dewormer block. It's got molasses in it, so they all love it. But this is almost funny. They're so they're so mad. That boy. Ain't no party like a molasses block party, cause a molasses block party don't stop. Don't stop. Mm-hmm. I'll link that uh, block down below. They're actually on sale at Tractor Supply for 42 bucks in my area anyway. So that's pretty slick. Wait, do I dare? Vertical and horizontal fan spray. Yeah, how far does it? Sprays upside down, how far? Oh, uh, don't be downwind. Oh boy. So this is not to be sprayed on animals you're going to consume. And we're not eating any of the highlands. This is all I do. I don't get too crazy. I don't get too close. The only thing I'm careful about is not spraying it on the food. Hold still, it's like a merry-go-round. Musical chairs or something. I try not to spray it on the block because I don't want them ingesting it. Seriously? Seriously. It's for your own good, you Nancys. Look at them licking. They got a good couple of licks of the molasses block. I didn't get it on camera. But they're just, it's like a dog with peanut butter in its mouth. It's too funny. I ain't getting in there. No way. All right, what else do we got? Man, you fly spray around here. Whew. Let's go hang this. That's sticky. Oh yeah, shouldn't touch it. Don't, don't touch that, Chad. I don't want to scare you. You just started warm up to me, so I'm not gonna hit you with fly spray. Is that rain again? It's sprinkling again. Jeez. All right, let's go hang this up. And this and i'll show you what i did you guys are so silly this is hysterical so look at all those flies on fred's back look at all of them it's disgusting they know what this is and they don't like it but it's got to happen Want to see it? Come here. It's raining, man. Come here. Hey, watch out. Watch out. Yeah, we can prize bull. Watch out. You're spooking the alpacas, you big galoot. So this is this is natural. Nats, ticks. Biting flies, doesn't say horn flies, but I would imagine cattle, pigs, poultry, foals, sheep, donkeys, llamas, dogs. Brush or wipe thoroughly to remove excess dust and dirt. Use soft coat. It's raining. Golly, I'm so over it. I can't, you're downwind, or you're upwind, I'm downwind. So. 
up. I'm just wasting that. Let this little bit of rain move through while I stand in the barn and get dry and show you guys what I did. So come with me. Fred, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll go this way. I don't need him to go that way. Look at him eating the grass. It's so cute. The fence isn't even hot. Well, check it out. Dry as a bone. I'm going to leave that for them to scratch on. I'm not going to go in there because I'm all muddy like my feet are. I'm going to leave this for them. And I might actually close this off until later this evening so they don't come in and get it wet. Because I want them to be able to sleep in here tonight when it's 40 and be warm. And same for over here. I need to hang this and spread that out. So let's do that real quick. Bam! Not endorsed. Don't know anything about it. It's an old heat lamp hanger. So I zip tied that up there so... Whenever we need to change this, because I'm sure you just toss them out when they get full of flies. Whenever we need to change this, oh, there's the brand from Tractor Supply. But whenever we need to change it, we'll just give it a good squeeze. It'll drop down and throw the flies away. There's that. You guys have seen this. And they're curious, man, but look at Tina. Guard Tina going to check it out first. Yep, here come the ants. We could legit call them the Golden Girls. Lady A, no doubt, be Betty White. No doubt. Anyway, there's a little feeder. We'll put some stuff in later. But this is a huge area. I'm gonna spread this out. There's not much moisture in here, but there is moisture in here. Like it's, it's started. To start getting moisture in here so it's just been neglected but you could easily grade this and build it up and get that water to go that way and around which that way and about a hundred yards that way is the pond so we just need it to go around everybody knows everybody boo what do you think you're welcome You guys want to sleep in here tonight? It's going to be cold. I mean, you're wearing an alpaca sweatshirt. But I thought I'd ask. That'll be all right? Hmm? Don't spit. Don't spit. Wait, whoa. Why? Listen. Oh, here's the... Yeah. She's looking for food. Dude, you're such a dude of an alpaca. You're always hungry. That's hysterical. Look out there. I thought you were like mountain climbers. Don't go in a baby one. Yeah, don't go in a baby stall. That's not for you. Anyway, we also have, some of you guys saw it in the last video, briefly. This is a chicken coop. I was wrong entirely. I didn't know what it was. But, see that? Chicken wire and the mud daubers. But it's a chicken coop. So, I had an idea immediately to put a screen over this. Cause there ain't much ventilation in there. That's a hot box, man. And then probably cut a hole up there, even though there's one above. I don't know, what should I do? I think we need a chicken door right there though. That's for sure. Like an automatic, which I already have from Omelette. And we need to lock our chickens up in there. What? I'm strange. Have you seen you? Where's the baby? Can you get the baby down here? Have you guys inspected it enough? I don't know what this is. I haven't investigated it enough, but we will pick that up. All right. Guys, I think that's it. Like I said, it's uh, the day you're seeing this and I don't want to move them because the sun is going to come out. Take it easy. Take it easy. 
the sun is going to come out and they need to dry off and hang out and be cool. And then we'll put them in there tonight when it's supposed to be 45, 46 degrees. So unfortunately you guys won't see that until the next video. Hey, did you guys give me a minute? You guys won't see it till the next video, but it will happen. So right now I want to see if I can get mama to let me take baby. See, we got sugar mama. If you didn't know, her name was sugar mama. So does that make you, that makes you sugar baby. It sure does. All right. I'm going to let her nurse instead of trying to lift her tail and, oh, oh, oh. Maybe if I sit real still, she'll lift her tail for us. So I got an umbilical cord right there. Place your bets down below. As soon as she lifts that tail, we'll all know. I hope. Lift your tail, lady. Or boy. It's sprinkling again. I'm gonna. Well, it might be out. I might have to get a video of it later and message John. You guys will find out in the next video. I'm sorry. Y'all be good. Don't work too hard. Don't make it weird. God bless.